Hi friends, so excited that Monday we have a brand new fresh line in the sand. And so I wanna talk about it with you because um, sometimes when I'm like, we're having starting a new group and there's a new challenge, sometimes we can get a little confused and there's no reason to be confused. So this group will continue on like it always has. Um, and at least once a month, I like to have a fresh day one. I do this for myself because even if I'm doing a workout program or I'm committed to whatever, Sometimes life happens and it can be, we can get a little slippery and then I don't know about you, but things just kind of like escalate. So I like to know that at least once a month, there is that line in the sand. This is my perfect opportunity to like come back to the things that matter and to realign, refocus, tweak a little bit. It's not about all or nothing. Okay. We don't need to throw anything away. We don't need to start from square one, but um, it's just that opportunity. It's a gift, right? So I'm starting a brand new program. Just because Monday is a fresh day one doesn't mean that you have to start something totally new. You can be in the middle of a program or working your way through something and that's totally fine. If that is the case for you, then I just want you to like ask yourself, like what's off kilter? Is it my nutrition? Is it my water? Is it my rest? Is it my play? Am I taking time to do the things that are serving me? Have I been watching too much TV or eating too much processed food or too much peanut butter? Like whatever you've been doing, maybe a little bit too much of, or maybe there's something you want to do a little bit more. This is for you. Okay. So I just dropped a little tracker. Well, I say it's a tracker. It's just a, for, it's just a little thing I made on Canva, whatever. Okay. If you want to use it, like maybe you want to cross things off. I would say just take a screenshot of it. You can crop it on your phone and, and then just mark it up. I like to mark it up on um, Instagram, but do whatever feels easiest to you. Okay. The point is if you're starting a fresh day one, especially if you're starting a brand new program, whatever that is, if it's for beginners only, or you're going back to 21 day fix, or maybe you're going to start chop wood, carry water with me on Monday, which I haven't even unlocked my program. Okay. You're not behind. It's okay. Take a deep breath because <laughs> I know some of you are like, I'm behind. I don't have this figured out. Yeah, you do. You're totally cool. Okay. Just calm your tits down. So I'm going to unlock my program today or tomorrow, whatever. I'm going to do it before Monday. And what I put on this little pink sheet picture image graphic for you are the things that you need to do no matter what program you're doing. And some of you are going to fight me at this and that's fine. You can do things your way. If your way is getting you results and making you feel proud, then that's super awesome. As your coach, I'm not here to force you to do anything. I can't make you do anything. I ain't you a mama or your wife. Um, but these are things that like success leaves clues. Okay. If you want to have a transformation, you need to know where you're starting. And some of you are really resistant to the getting on the scale or taking the measurements or taking the photos. I'm just going to tell you that I've heard time and time again, when you don't do those things, when you don't have that starting metric data, okay, when you don't have that squirreled away somewhere, you're like, darn it, like, I'm really proud of myself. I've really made some progress. I wish that I could just see my own growth because we look at ourselves every single day and sometimes it's hard to see the wins. And that's why we do this. You don't have to share it with anyone. You don't have to post about it. This is for you so that you can actually see if you're getting results and if you're not getting results, then it's time to do something different to make a teeny tiny tweak. Maybe it's nutrition. Maybe it's your hormones. Maybe you need to have more sleep or more water, or maybe there's something in your diet that isn't necessarily a bad food, but maybe it's something that your body doesn't like. Like my body doesn't like a lot of caffeine. It also doesn't like cauliflower. Go figure. So while everyone's journey is unique, the certain things, these benchmarks I'm asking you to check off, to pay attention to, they really do matter. Okay. I'm not just wasting my time and like trying to give you busy work. These are things that I think are really important. So number one, you need to decide what workout, what workout program you're going to do. If you're in the middle of something, that's cool. This is the perfect time for you to make sure that you have all your ducks in a row. Maybe you haven't printed your calendar. Maybe you have never taken those photos or measured or whatever. This is the time to do it. You don't have to wait until you start something fresh. You can actually do this on Monday. We'll do it before Monday. I, I would personally take, I will take my own measurements and photos the morning I start. Um, but you can do it this weekend. Okay. So if you haven't yet done those things or it's been a really long time, let's do it. All right, squirreled away. You don't have to share it with anyone. You don't have to tell yourself a story. You don't have to create any shame or guilt or whatever, because maybe your body looks differently than you thought it was. Oh, well, our bodies are doing amazing things. Can we just like give it a little round of applause? 
but you need to decide on what workout program you're doing. If you're in the middle of something, if you want to start something new, if you need help figuring this out, you're going to raise your hand because we're not mind readers and we want to make sure that you're set up for success, which means you own this. You have to be like, I am in it. I'm in the middle. I'm ready to do this. I just need help figuring out what the best thing is. And you know what? You're also allowed to try different things. Okay. You can experiment with a few things, see what feels right. You have a few days until Monday. So let's go. So first things first, you're deciding on your program. Second things, you're going to go ahead and decide what nutrition program you're doing. And if you don't want to follow a nutrition program, I'm just going to remind you that 80% of this is nutrition. Mm -hmm. As much as that sucks, but it's true. Unless you are 18 years old and have the metabolism of a rock star, <laughs> you have to dial in the nutrition. That doesn't mean you need to live on freaking carrots and spinach. You need to cut out all the joyful things in your life. But why would you do the work in your living room, in the gym, in your garage? Why would you do that work and then not actually follow up with your nutrition? Okay, I've been talking a lot about nutrition, not because it's easy for me. This is actually my own personal thing that I tend to get stuck on. So I've been trying to share more to kind of give you guys some insight into how I view my own journey and also what works for me. You are you, okay? We have so many different nutrition options for you to, to experiment with and try. I'm gonna encourage you to pick one as we go into Monday and just like commit to it, okay? Doesn't mean you have to be an expert, doesn't mean you have to do it perfectly, doesn't mean if you have an off day that you have to go back to square one, there is none of that here. That that mindset does not work here, it does not belong here, it will not serve you and we're not gonna talk about it anymore. This is your opportunity to turn a fresh leaf and try something different. So figure out what nutrition program that looks like for you. There, if you actually go to the nutrition tab over on body, there, there's like a, I think it's like a comparison video that kind of explains the differences between them. So if you're kind of unsure, that's a great place to begin. In a nutshell, if you like to look at your food, like the measuring part, check out portion fix, all right? So that works better for some of you. If you're like, I don't want to measure things. I don't want to track things. I don't want to do that. I would encourage you to go over to gut, to, um, to be mindset and check her method out. Okay. Final thing is, um, gut protocol. And that's if you notice that you're always bloated or you're having some digestive issues. If you always feel tired, that's a great program as well. Okay. So there's you have lots of options. Maybe you're like, I can't do that. That literally makes me want to like scream into a pillow and run away and not do anything. Then guess what? You're going to focus on making sure you have enough protein, make sure that you're getting an extra vegetable every single day. Maybe it's simply just upping your water. Okay. Wherever you're at is where you need to be. And that's totally cool. And I need you to collect your wins and be okay with this progress ever perfect mindset. That's what I'm calling this challenge. Progress over perfect challenge. Progress over perfect. That sounds weird. Progress over perfect challenge. That's what we're doing. Yeah, this is live. You're seeing it here first. Okay. So you're deciding on your workout. You're deciding on your nutrition. And then either Sunday or Monday, I want you to take your before and after your, your take your before photos. I put before and after, but you know what I mean? You're just taking your before photos. I like to set my phone up on selfie mode, put it on video and I will like set it up. And so I can like take my own, I can screenshot my own photos. Unless you have someone that you feel comfortable taking photos of you, that's just what works for me. If you have a tripod and you're fancy, you could do that. Um, but don't overcomplicate it, okay? You're just literally getting some photos. And I would encourage you, it doesn't have to be in a bathing suit or undies or anything, but like wear something where you can actually see your body. Because if you're just wearing like a giant sweater and big baggy pants, like you can't really see the epic work that your body is gonna do, which is the whole point, okay? So you're also gonna take your measurements. Take your measurements, not a big deal, just recording it, squirreling it away. Um, I need you to print your workout calendar and tracker. Do not wait till Monday morning to do this. You'll be scrambling and it's worth it, okay? Those of you who are like, mm, I don't really need to do that. I don't wanna waste the paper. Yes, you do. You need to do it, you need to print it. Something about actually seeing it, being able to check the days off, being able to make little notes to yourself, like this felt good, or this was really challenging, or this sucked ass. Like, we're just documenting the journey because as you go through this, you're gonna be so excited to see how things are changing, how you're able to lift heavier weights, or maybe you're able to lift a weight. Like maybe you start out modifying and not using any weights. That's totally cool. So. Whatever program you're doing, I want you to go into that program, click on program materials, and there will have a calendar. If there's any trackers to be printed, if you're doing chop wood, carry water, there are several things to, to print. I want you to do that. You also need to review the getting started tab under that workout program, whatever that is. And um, 
just set yourself up for success. Don't wait till Monday and then you're scrambling and maybe it's a busy day and you're like, oh, I'm behind the curve. Okay, that's what your homework is for this weekend. I want you to set yourself up for success. I want you to squirrel away the time to actually go through the stuff. And if you are doing chop wood, carry water, there is a 101 video that it sounds like it's not very long, but he talks about the different, like he explains how to do the primal movement. So you need to do that before Monday if you're doing chop wood, carry water. Like I said, I haven't even unlocked my access, okay? So you're not behind. Don't come telling yourself some story about it. You're right where you need to be, okay? But these are the things you need to do if you're starting fresh with us Monday. I've also asked you guys what you wanted to do and there was a resounding, we want a water challenge. And I'm like, that's totally cool. But what does that mean? Like, what do you need? <laughs> What does that look like for you? I need your feedback. I need your input because I'm over here looking on Pinterest. And I'm like, I don't know, just drink your freaking water. Like set some alarms in your phone. Like, I don't, I don't know. So what do you need? Do you need a little tracker? Do you want to have like a, che a check-in every single day where you're sharing your, your picture of your bottle? I don't know. I need your feedback on this because this is what you guys want. Cool? Cool. So that is the plan as we move towards Monday. Yesterday, I uploaded some meal plans. So you can go ahead and check those out for some fresh recipes. But don't forget all the access, all the, the resources you have over on Body. There's so many recipes. Like you could do a different recipe every day for like two years and still have more ideas, which is pretty freaking rad. So if you need anything, you're going to raise your hand. You're going to own this. You're not going to have a perfectionist mindset at all because that will not serve you. And you're just going to do your best and surrender the rest. So what is your plan for Monday? I want you to leave me a comment. I want you to, if you're committing to a fresh day one, I want you to find that post. It's pinned in both of the groups. And I want you to share what you've done, like how you've set yourself up for success. If you have taken your photos, if you are going to meal prep a little bit, if you are going to schedule it into your day, if you're going to set an alarm on your phone, you don't need to overwhelm yourself but you need to be accountable and you need to say, this is how I'm going to show up for myself and I'm going to make an intention to honor my promise. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be mine.